Hey writers, if you're a fiction writer who would love to become a published author faster, a current self-published author who would love to see more traction in your career, or an author pursuing traditional publishing but you would love the freedom of self-publishing too, serial fiction could be your answer. If we don't know each other yet, hi, I'm Brittany Wang, author of the YA fantasy serial series on Wings of Ash and Dust, and I love that my serial not only enabled me to become a published author faster, but it also helped me build a growing and engaged readership. And it meant that I became the author of a completed six book series in just two and a half months. Excited to learn more? In today's video, I'm going to share all the basics you need to know about serials, how I chose what kind of serial I published, because there aren't many different kinds. Plus, I also share the success I've personally had with serials so far. And if you want a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to pick the serial strategy that's right for you, as well as how to plot, draft, edit, publish, and market your serial with success. Today, I am super excited to announce that I am finally launching a course just for you called Serial Fiction Bootcamp. Since sharing some of my serial experience here on my YouTube channel, I've had so many writers ask how they can create serial fiction too, that I decided to share everything I know in one course. With it, I also offer an exclusive Discord group for my students so they can continue to ask questions, get feedback, and network together. Plus, this Preptober, I'm planning on running a serial Preptober challenge for all my students. This way we can help each other prep our serials so we're ready to draft them this coming NaNoWriMo. I'll also be working on the second season of On Wings of Ash and Dust and sharing all the new things I learn with my students along the way. Be sure to stick around till the end of this video if you want to hear even more about the course and all the bonuses it includes. But I'm so excited about this boot camp that here is the first lesson for free, what exactly a serial is, plus my personal experience and success with it. Hey writers, I'm so excited you've decided to explore the world of writing and publishing serial stories with me as I share all I've learned from publishing my own fantasy serial series on Wings of Ash and Dust. Let's begin by first getting clear on what exactly a serial is. The easiest way I've found to describe a serial series is that it's pretty much the same as a normal book series except for two major differences. One, each book in the series, or what is usually called an episode, is much shorter than a full-length novel, making the series faster to binge read. Two, these episodes are usually rapid released to help you grow your readership fast and keep them engaged. For example, instead of my readers waiting for a new book maybe once or twice a year, I released a new book or episode every two weeks, publishing my full series in just two and a half months. I've also found this analogy to be very helpful when describing a serial. If a typical book series is most like a movie series, say like Harry Potter or The Hunger Games, a serial series is most like a TV show where the overall story is broken up into smaller installments, like what TV producers have done with turning the Shadow and Bone book into a TV series, and similarly with books like Wheel of Time, Shannara Chronicles, etc. Basically, think of a serial as a TV show, but in book form. For example, Avatar The Last Airbender is an amazing TV show series, which I highly recommend. And like most TV shows, it is a collection of short episodes that each have its own mini episode arc with a beginning, middle, and end, but also usually end on a cliffhanger that leads into a continuing season arc. Ultimately, the episodes lead to a big season finale in the last episode that wraps up that season arc and ends on a cliffhanger to lead into season two. Similar to this, a serial like Sarah Kale Wilson's Dragon School is a series of shorter episodes, usually novella-sized ebooks that are fast released, aka a new episode usually releases every couple weeks. Like a Netflix series, this can create bingeable content for your readers, which can help you grow your readership and keep them engaged. And after all episodes of a season are released, sometimes an author will package multiple episodes or all episodes into a box set or a physical full-length book like I did with my serial. As an example, for my serial series of ebooks, here's how I chose to describe it and what it means that it is a serial on my series Amazon page. First, I had the normal series description, which states, after Pixie Pirate Quinn gets wrapped up in a competition for the fairy crown, she faces off with a mute beast tamer, a flirtatious merman, a blind artist, and a pompous princess in a series of dangerous trials. But as an ancient prophecy entwines their fates, rivals must become allies before there's no world left to rule. 
Full of action and intrigue with a unique world and fresh take on Fae, this fast-paced YA fantasy adventure is perfect for fans of Six of Crows and the Cruel Prince. Then, here's the quick serial explanation. On Wings of Ash and Dust is a serial series that is much like your favorite TV show with seasons and episodes. Each episode is fast-paced, exciting, and releases frequently so that readers can keep up with the story even if they have a very busy life. Episodes can be read in as little as a day or two, while readers who like to take their time may read more slowly. Perfect for lunch breaks, a single evening of enjoyment, and readers who prefer bite-sized chunks of a continuing storyline. Make sense? As a recap, especially for any of you that love to take notes, serials are like TV shows in that each book or episode has its own mini story arc with a beginning, middle, and end, but usually leaves off with some kind of cliffhanger to hook a reader into needing to read the next installment. Ultimately, the episodes usually lead up to a big season finale that wraps up that season's arc, which possibly also ends on a final cliffhanger leading into a season two. As we mentioned before, these episodes also come out fairly frequently and are shorter and easier for readers to binge like a Netflix series. If serials are something you're excited to try, you're probably one of the following kinds of authors. Either you're an aspiring self-published author who wants to become a published author faster, a current self-published author who wants to find ways to gain more traction in their career, and even though it doesn't seem like traditional publishers are latching onto serial stories, you might be an author who wants to go the hybrid publishing route, aka pursuing both traditional publishing while self-publishing as well. When I first learned about serials, I started out as the first and third kind of author. Here's a brief overview of how I learned about serials and why I chose to publish the type of serial I chose. When I first started getting serious about not just writing, but publishing a book back in late 2017, early 2018, I started working on my YA fantasy on Wings of Ash and Dust. At the time, I was writing it as a full-length novel with the intention of querying it to hopefully get traditionally published. But by the time I was ready to query, which was right around when the pandemic started in 2020, the already slow traditional publishing world started slowing down even more than usual. Thankfully, I entered my book's pitch into a contest on Twitter called PitMad and got a like from an agency, which meant they wanted to see my manuscript right away. But while waiting for this agency to get back to me, I couldn't stop thinking about this other publishing idea I'd started to hear about called serials. By this time, I'd seen multiple authors talk about it and publish serials with much success. I also loved how they were able to, one, use the rapid release strategy to grow and keep an engaged readership, and two, do more frequent releases like every couple of weeks to really keep their readers engaged. At first, while I was waiting for this agency to get back to me, I started working on a fairy tale retelling serial I called Sisters of the Shadowwood. I even started sharing the plotting and drafting process of this story on YouTube and with my patrons. I'll link the YouTube playlist down below in case you want to see the more specific process with that serial. At the back of my mind, though, I always thought my full-length novel on Wings of Ash and Dust would make a great serial, too. This was mostly because I could see that it already had a serialized structure that could easily be separated into six parts. Episode one could be how my main character, Quinn, got wrapped up in the fairy competition. Then episodes two through six could focus on the different trials of the competition for the fairy crown. This meant that each episode already had a fairly satisfying mini arc, a beginning, middle, and an end that would focus on each part of the competition, but would also leave the reader on a cliffhanger to find out what would happen in the next episode, again, like a TV show. And if I fast released it, I thought, wouldn't it be so cool if my readers got a new segment of the story every two weeks, which would make it feel like they were experiencing the competition almost in real time with the characters. Plus, unlike Sisters of the Shadowwood, On Wings of Ash and Dust was pretty much done. Just needed a developmental and copy edit, and it would be ready to go. So when I finally heard back from the Trad Pub agency three months later that they were going to pass on my manuscript, I felt like I had two choices. I could continue querying On Wings of Ash and Dust traditionally while working on Sisters of the Shadowwood to self-publish as a serial, thus going hybrid. Or I could put Sisters on the back burner for now and instead focus on transforming Ash and Dust into an epic serial. Obviously, I chose option number two. Within the next year, I broke my full-length novel into six episodes that were about 23 to 31,000 words, basically the size of a novella. Financially, I also invested in a cover designer, commissioning the six covers I needed at a discount because I commissioned them all at once. 
and I hired a developmental and copy editor, but the beauty with a serial was that I only had to pay my editors to edit the length of a full-length novel instead of a series of full-length books. And in the end, I still ended up being a debut author with a six-book completed series. These editors and my final round of beta readers helped make my episodes even stronger, and I successfully started publishing the series by August 2021. Overall, all this worked out really well for me. I saw much success in sales and sell through to each ebook as they published. I got a good deal of reviews right away. I also had really active reader engagement during the first two and a half months of publishing. To keep engagement extra high, I also ran an ARC team with weekly challenges and planned fun ways to engage with my readers every week as a new episode came out. This included hosting weekly live streams and activities to go with every episode. Plus, I had the plan of publishing the six-part series as a full paperback novel sometime after all episodes were out, which I did in January of 2022. Now, this was my journey to publishing the kind of serial I envisioned for my story. But in video number two for this module, we'll talk all about the different kinds of serials that you could potentially choose from. If hearing about my serial journey is getting you super excited to write and publish your own serial fiction series, here's everything else you'll learn in my course. In the rest of module one, I'll help you choose the best serial strategy for you by sharing a bunch of different serial formats with specific serial examples you can check out for reference. I also share the major benefits I experienced with my own serial, plus some of the hurdles I faced and the specific things I did to overcome them. If you want a preview of the these benefits and hurdles. I recently shared some of them while on the Act Break podcast. I'll link that episode down below if you'd like to check it out. Then in module two, I'll show you step-by-step step how to plot the serial format you've selected. To do this, we'll go over the building blocks of a serial, how to know if a serial format will work for your specific story, two possible approaches to plotting your serial, how to plot the series versus individual episodes. This includes the exact five act structure I use, how to plot character arcs in a serial. I answer a bunch of other common plotting questions I frequently get, plus I include actual outline breakdowns of existing serials and TV show episodes so you can see how this serial structure works in action. In module three, we'll tackle drafting your serial, which includes two approaches to serial drafting, guidance on how many chapters to have in each episode, easy steps to go from plotting to drafting, plus how to brainstorm your series and episode titles. We'll then talk all about editing a serial in module four with an overview of possible editing stages you might consider doing, serial tips for working with critique partners, beta readers, editors, and more, plus tips on setting budgets and deadlines for your serial. In module five, we'll set you up to publish your serial, discussing how to rapidly release effectively, tips for serial covers that sell, tips for formatting your serial ebooks, deciding where to publish, and how to price your episodes. And finally, we'll cover all things marketing in module six. I'll go over three stages of marketing and tips for each stage, how to build your marketing toolbox, plus I'll share the top marketing tactics that did and didn't work for me in my serial. Each of these six modules includes digestible video lessons that are easy to fit into your busy life. It's definitely a self-study course, so you can go through the modules at any time at a pace that works for you. And the action steps in each module workbook will help you come up with a solid plan to then implement everything you've learned. Plus, you get lifetime access, so you can always go back through the course more slowly or review specific parts of it at any time you want to dig deeper. In addition, you'll also get those actionable workbooks I mentioned, as well as additional links and resources for each module, the ability to access the course on desktop or mobile, a private serial writer community in our exclusive Discord group where you can network with other serial authors, ask for their questions, and get support and feedback. Access to all future improvements and updates to the course, plus students that write a course review will have their published serial promoted on a testimonial and promo page on my website. And as a limited time bonus, if you join the course before or in the beginning of this October, you'll get in on that serial preptober challenge I mentioned at the beginning. I've also already had a wonderful beta group go through the course early, and I love what they have to say about it. 
Ashley is a YA romance writer and she says Brittany Wang's Serial Fiction Bootcamp is an amazing course that turned an overwhelming process into something that feels achievable. The walkthroughs, workbooks, and additional material not only helped me tighten my story in a short period of time, but also renewed my excitement for the publishing process. This is a resource I'll be coming back to over and over again. Cassie has already been publishing her serials on Kindle Vella and says Brittany has a knack for teaching authors how to write serials and her love for the format shows. The fast paced nature of this course is similar to serials themselves, which makes it easy for prospective serial authors to dive in. I personally loved the information in the plotting, drafting, and marketing modules. As a Kindle Vella author, this course helped me with learning new tips and tricks for my current and future serials. JJ, who is a paranormal fantasy author, also said about the course, Brittany's friendly teaching style, helpful workbooks, multitude of examples, and in-depth information helped me have a breakthrough with my serial outline. I loved how Brittany uses Google Docs for her workbooks, so I don't have to print out 100 pages like other writer courses have you do. I also loved how Brittany helped me understand the difference between outlining a novel and outlining a serial. This course was so helpful, I'll definitely refer back to it often. And I love how Dania, who is a YA fantasy writer, also said, what I loved most about this course was how Brittany was able to break down the information, make it super simple and easy to understand, and how she used her own series to explain how a serial works. She provided a lot of examples and encouraged me to look into some of my favorite movies and shows I love as examples of serial writing. I'm currently in the process of re-outlining my serial work in progress, and this course has already helped me see a breakthrough in my writing. If you're excited to join the course or you simply just want to learn a little bit more, you can check out all the details in the course link below and make sure to join ASAP if you want to get in on that Preptober challenge as we're going to get started next week. Right now you can get access to everything in the course for a one-time purchase of just $127 or three payments of $45. Or if you've been considering enrolling in my author website bootcamp as well, I'm bundling both courses for a discount. But this price will increase as I learn more about serials and add more to the course in the future. If you enroll now, however, you'll get access to all future updates and additions to the course at no extra charge. Have any other questions I didn't answer? Make sure to leave them in a comment and I will be sure to answer them as soon as possible. But if you are ready to jump in, I am so excited to see you in this course and help you make your serial dreams a reality this year. Hey!